What's going on, people? Welcome to another night with uh, AZ's Breaks. I'm giving the camera some dap. I want to start off a little differently tonight. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing this video, and this is going to be a sequence of videos. Hopefully, the sequence is not that long because I really don't want this list to grow exponentially in size. It obviously will because it's YouTube and it's a community filled with uh, probably liars, cheats, thieves, all that other stuff. So, But of course, some of us as trusting individuals will uh, go out of our way to do things to uh, better the community as a whole, but you're still going to have to deal with the rotten apples uh, in return. So I really did not want to do this but I'm going to have to and from now on I am this is actually going to be a public service announcement not only for people that screwed me personally but just to let everybody else who subs to me know uh, that these guys cannot be trusted um, I had a trade that was going to be done and let me show you this guy right here Woo! there we go Kobe's 1FSN alright this dude right here Says he's 26 years old and everything. Acts more like he's 12 or whatnot. Anyway, I don't mean for this video to come across as offensive or insulting, so I really will not make any dis more disparaging comments. But nevertheless, we agreed on a trade. Um, I was to send him a top the top treasury uh, OJ Mayo card that I hit. A rookie auto, actually. Um, <clears throat> he wanted me to throw in the Robin Lopez, I guess it was like an SP Prospects auto, triple patch. I don't care about that card because I don't like Robin Sideshow Lopez, as you guys know. Um, but the top Treasury auto I was trying to move from OJ Mayo. Came across with a good deal, so you knew I was a David Robinson fan. So he offered David Robinson, Topps Chrome, uh, number to 25, some sort of special card and whatnot. Saw the picture for him and everything. And a Jamal Charles jersey. We agreed to this trade. Uh, we kept going back and forth. This is the beginning of April. Okay, this is the uh, April 1st, March 31st, something like that. Uh, we agreed to the trade on April 3rd. I actually have all my inbox messages saved, exactly for this kind of these kind of reasons. Um, and he mentioned on three different times that he was going to send the cards out. Uh, I've also been pretty busy. Uh, myself, obviously, my medical profession takes a lot of time away from me during the day. I don't really see the post office ever. I get people to do my work for me. Um, <coughs> so I've been a little slow in sending stuff out to other people, so I apologize on that. But I usually let people know when I'm sending it out. And when I say I send something out, that means the product is sent out. Nevertheless, I sent it out about April 8th or whatnot that I sent him a message, and I know that he got it because I sent it via a uh, tracking uh uh, tracking number and uh, arrived at his house. He actually admitted that it arrived at his house about April 13th, 14th, 15th, or something to that extent. On three different occasions, I asked him, Did he send it out? Did he didn't send it out? And each one of those occasions, he said he's sending it out tomorrow. This went on for the span of about 11 days, at which point, then on April 14th, I believe, I have the message saved, um, he responded by saying, I sent the card out today. I hope you get them, bro. It is now April 22nd, at which point, I sent him an email and I said, it's been a week. I haven't gotten your cards, uh, which is very possible because I sent some cards out just recently to Ultimate Darren and to uh, Hockey Jaw and I believe to somebody else, and it took it took almost a week to get to their place. So you benefited out. I emailed him and I said, "Did you or did you not send out the cards? Because it's been a week and I haven't gotten them yet. Um, if you haven't, just let me know." I'm a pretty f sharp individual, obviously, and even if I wasn't. Obviously, if a guy's told you three different times that he was going to send a card and he didn't every single time, you probably have a feeling that he probably didn't send the card out the third time either. So guess what? He replies back and he says, no, uh, the truth is I didn't send the card out and I'm going to do it tomorrow. Sorry. Well, guess what? Sorry for you, bro, because I warned you that you would get blacklisted. So welcome, because now you are victim number one on AZ's blacklist. At this point, frankly, I don't even care if I get the cards from you. I don't expect to get the cards from you. And if I get the cards from you, wonderful. But you're still on my blacklist, and I will never trade with you ever again. As a matter of fact, I probably will block you as a user. 
let this be a forewarning for anybody else who tries to play these games on YouTube with myself or anybody else who I find trustworthy on here. I will nail you and I will personally make an example out of you because this community does not need people like that around. I will probably change my trading protocols with people I don't know either. I'll probably have them send first. I will not send first unless I know you. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, sorry I had to do this. I really apologize. I actually apologize to you, Kobe, uh, because I really did not want to be an ass, but now I have to be. But in retrospect, I gave you a, I gave you a heads up notice, and you still went around and you screwed around four different times and you lied at the end, and that's not cool. So, guys, if you see this uh, username, I'm going to give it to you one more time again. It's Kobe's one fsn Do not make any trades with this guy. Oh, by the way, I have one more thing I forgot to mention. He actually tried to change the trade at the very last second after I had uh, sealed it in a bubble mailer envelope and whatnot. And I've noticed on his videos, he did that to two other people, I believe, and to his other videos and uh, kind of annoyed some guys in the process. Uh, trying to change trades at the last second and whatnot. Um, anyway, uh, if anybody else has any aims uh, they'd like to pass on, make any videos, this is a good way to start off. Uh, start uh, start off. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say start off blacklisting people, but uh, really cleaning up the mess around here. I said I was going to be very very proactive uh, around here, and uh, this is going to be the start. Uh, I have some stuff that I have lined up for the upcoming months. Uh, I've already alluded to some people in PMs, um, and there's some big surprises around in the future stuff that hasn't been seen before that I'll be getting to once I get the sub count to a, a, a number that I'm very comfortable with where I believe the ideas are feasible. So anyway, uh, welcome to AZ's Blacklist. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but somebody had to be number one.